Yeah, according to OEC, presidential election in Poland in their current uh, current form will not be democratic. Do you share this this view? Is is the European Commission going to monitor somehow the, the election in Poland? Thank you. Yes, two months, I think, for obvious reason, we gave it more time. We, we wanted to provide uh, the Polish government with, with longer time uh, to, to respond. Obviously, this is also because of the current situation we are in, and we fully recognize that the Bo Polish government is now focusing on, on tackling and fighting against the corona uh, crisis. So, uh, but, but we, indeed, we believe that uh, during those two months, uh, we could uh, also uh, find moments for for uh, opening the, the the next chapter uh, of the dialogue with Polish uh, uh, authorities, both on technical but also on political level. I have always uh, said that I'm fully available for such dialogue uh, on this respective law, but also maybe on the wider context of, of the judiciary reforms, which attract uh, uh, the attention of the Commission and which. Uh, uh, which cause that we we are, are uh, launching the infringement procedures and also uh, because uh, uh, we uh, we uh, should we should discuss also the article 7 issues but now focusing on this uh, concrete uh, law yes indeed we we want uh, to have the reply in two months time for for obvious reasons uh, the Polish elections. Uh, we are monitoring now the situation in all the member states uh, because uh, there are serious concerns that the extraordinary time could uh, invite for extraordinary measures which might be in contradiction with the EU rules. Uh, which So it's our obligation to follow what's happening in all the member states. I already before, uh, some time ago, expressed my concerns uh, relating to, to the Polish presidential elections. I said very clearly that, legally speaking, uh, uh, this is uh, especially for, for the Polish uh, political debate and, and, political, uh, and Polish authorities to consider what is the best way to guarantee free and fair elections, which we really seriously expect to happen. In, in all the member states. There is simply a very strong expectation that our member states will guarantee free and uh, fair elections. Uh, and especially now in the COVID context, uh, as I said before, we are, we are uh, uh, monitoring the, the situation in all the member states. And uh, I, I have nothing more to say on that. I, I, I said before that if I were the Polish citizen, I would have many questions because I would really like to have uh, 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 fair uh, um, access to to uh, to the uh, to the voting, uh, I would like to see the candidates uh, campaigning in a fair uh, campaign period uh, uh, time, and uh, I think that these are the questions, especially which should be asked on Polish territory. I think we will continue with a Polish question uh, from Tomasz Wielewski. Um, yes, that's, uh, that's Tomasz Bielecki of Gazeta Wyborcza and uh, Deutsche Welle. Uh, Vice President, the Venice Commission, uh, its January uh, opinion on the law addressed today by the European Commission raised also uh, the, 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 the huge concerns about the changes in the process of election of the first president of the Supreme Court as reducing the participation of the judges in contradiction with check and balances as designed by the Polish, Polish Constitution. As I understand, this element is not an element of, of the today's letter of uh, formal notice approved by, by the European Commission. Uh, so my question is, why is that? And if I may uh, add the follow-up on the presidential elections, there was a kind of the mix-up last week on Article 7 and, uh, and Polish election issue and the European Commission. So. Uh, I may ask uh, again, is the European Commission uh, willing to, to, to raise uh, sometime, somehow, this issue uh, in the JC Council in the future? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I will first reply on Article 7. No, this is not the plan. Uh, so uh, I, I can confirm this. And uh, the second question, why we are not addressing the Supreme Court uh, issue or the 
the election or appointment of the first president of the Supreme Court. Uh, this infringement case uh, uh, is uh, based on a very solid legal ground. I didn't want to have any doubt uh, raised on, on this issue that we have a weak legal competence. And so that's why we are addressing four grievances. And this one, the, the appointment of the first president of the Supreme Court was discussed at length uh, in the commission. And we came to a conclusion that uh, on this, uh, uh, we do not have such a solid, solid legal ground. Uh, also, it, it's good to notice that we have never uh, addressed the appointment processes uh, uh, in, in the uh, in relation to rule of law, so we keep this line, uh, and uh, so uh, this is this is more legal than than political argument.